<clears throat> Good evening, um, and welcome to the National Honor Society's induction ceremony. Would everyone please stand for the presentation of the colors by Brockton High School's JROTC. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may have a seat. Thank you so much. <laughs> so welcome parents, inspirational teachers, and new inductees. For those of you who don't know me, I am Ms. Tillis, and together with Ms. Fox, we are the advisors for the National Honor Society. We are, we are honored to have you all here tonight to celebrate these students' successes. They have all worked so hard, and we are excited to reward them for their hard work. Thank you to everyone that has played a part in planning tonight. We are delighted to have our Superintendent Cobbs and Mayor Sullivan here with us, with us tonight. <laughs> I would like to have Superintendent come up now and say a few words, followed by Mayor Sullivan. So this is, I'm just sitting here in my seat thinking, this is like the fifth time I've been up to high school this year for award ceremonies of some sort. Uh, last week it was the, the Abigail Adams down there, the scholarship. Before that it was the Veterans Day Assembly. Before that the Superintendent's Awards for Outstanding Academic Scholarship. And another award before that one. Um, and pretty much I say the same thing every time. Um, you know, you, you know, we get a lot of lot of bad press about Brockton High School in the, in the in the media and social media, and yeah, we have to acknowledge we have problems. But when I look out here again, I look at all you scholars and all you, you students that are coming here every day, taking care of your business, doing your job, and excelling. And I'll say the same thing I said to them: You are the pride of Brockton High School. I'm so proud of you, and I want to congratulate you on your work. And don't stop now; keep it going. Well, that's it. I'd like to introduce Mayor Robert Sullivan. Well, good evening, everybody. First of all, I want to uh, welcome you uh, to uh, the best high school, not just in the Commonwealth, but in the United States of America, Brockton High School here in the city of Champions. I want to also recognize Principal Caskell, 
uh, school committee member Tony Rodriguez, school committee member Joyce Azak, school committee uh, member uh, Anna Oliver. I want to thank the parents, the guardians, the grandparents, the loved ones. Of course, our wonderful staff here at Brockton High, and I am a proud graduate of this uh, institution. But more importantly, today is your day. Tonight is your night. We want to just say job well done. Congratulations. To be inducted into the National Honor Society is an unbelievable accomplishment. You are really what the future is all about here in Brockton, right? And our future is extremely bright because what you have done inside of the classroom and outside of the classroom. So once a boxer, always a boxer. And as someone that was in the red building, nothing against yellow, green, or blue, um, I am just so excited to say um, you are the most recent inductees of Brockton High students to go into the National Honor Society. And your future is extremely bright. And when you graduate Brockton High, you might physically leave Brockton, but Brockton will always be home. Brockton High will always welcome you when you come back. So again, congratulations on a job well done. I, uh, I actually was double booked, so I have to go to another event right now, but I didn't want to uh, miss this because this is what Brockton High School means to me. Again, congratulations, and I do, I want to thank all of you for showcasing the talents here at Brockton High School. God bless you all, thank you. Thank you, Superintendent Cobbs and Mayor Sullivan. We will now begin with the inspirational teacher recognition part of the evening. When applying to the National Honor Society, each inductee picked a teacher that helped them get to where they are today. Those teachers will be recognized tonight as well. I would like to have Principal McCaskill come up now and introduce these teachers to you. Good evening, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. How are we doing this evening? All right. Well, we, let me do this in my principal voice. How's everybody doing this evening? All right. Energy, always positive energy. Greetings tonight from Brockton High School. And this is truly, truly an honor and a pleasure to have an induction ceremony as well as honoring our teachers. So I do have the honor of introducing our teachers. And each teacher will be presented with a certificate that reads as follows. Certificate of Special Recognition, and is signed by the National Honor Society advisors, Ms. Fox and Ms. Cecilis, and myself. We ask that the inspirational teachers stand and receive their recognition when their names are read. Audience, please hold your applause until all names have been read. So at this time, our first inspirational teacher recognition goes to Kathleen Anderson. She's helped She's helped me out to step out of my comfort zone. Whenever she would see me, she would always ask how am I doing or how I'm handling my classes. I'm not sure she knows how much her kindness means to me, and I hope she'll be proud of me applying for the National Honor Society. And that was done by Patuma Mata Dan Soko. Miss Anderson? Not here? All right. But she's getting honored anyway. <laughs> Our next is Julia Baker. We have students Priscilla Gomes and Amani Johnson. She's helped me step out of my comfort zone whenever she would see me. She would always ask how am I doing or how I'm handling my classes. I'm not sure she knows how much her kindness means to me and I hope she'll be proud of me applying for the National Honor Society. Secondly, her class was the first to prepare me for life after college, not only because it was intense, but because her values as a teacher inspired me as both a student and a person. Ms. Baker. Next. Oh, we said after, we're all applause until after. We can, you know, we can, why don't we do after if each one is applause? We can have a round of applause for that. Thank you. Thank you. That would be an awful long pause. Next is Ms. Rola Bezra by Jazzy L. Barrows. During the beginning of the year, I was going through a lot of things with my personal life, and she was very understanding and comprehensive of my problems and always offered a helping hand. Your actions are yours and what are what reflect your character. She helped me develop these traits, and for that, I thank her. Ms. Well done, well done. Next, we have Ms. Kimberly Barasa by Jarellis Figueroa Pérez. She taught me what it felt like to be worthy in a time I struggled in believing I was enough. 
Ms. Barraza being by my side each and every day, and each and every day of the fifth grade really allowed me to flourish and encouraged me to continue my caring ways for others. Ms. Barraza, congratulations. <laughs> David Brophy by Jennifer Kong, Ashley Chu, and Stephen McCormick. He puts me out of my comfort zone to talk with new people and present things that require a lot of confidence. I would recommend Mr. Brophy to anyone who wants a confidence boost. I second that. <laughs> he has taught me that on the golf course, you have good days and bad days, which is also true in life. He has helped me build my character by encouraging me to have a positive outlook on life, even if tough situations occur, because a good day will always come again. His enthusiasm for social science was contagious, which piqued my interest and made me a lifelong learner of various topics. He encouraged us to look farther into the complexities of the past because he believed in the power of information and critical thought. Mr. Brophy, congratulations, sir. <laughs> Ms. Cheryl Cadmus by Tyler Chismer. I'm not sure where I'd be right now if I had another teacher other than Mrs. Cadmus. Her kindness and patience with me inspired me to do better, to try harder, to not settle for anything but the best. She is my inspirational teacher, one of the most important people who has ever come into my life, Ms. Cadmus. <laughs> Mr. Cliff Canavan by Hazio Sebcheet. It can be a simple good morning, but it always makes my day knowing I have someone there for me. Mr. Canavan's passion taught me to love what I do because it can impact the people around me in amazing ways. I want to be like Mr. Canavan someday and inspire others around me and make them feel welcomed. Mr. Canavan, congratulations. <laughs> Yun Chen by Bailin Mejia. Mrs. Chan made me push my limits to the things I should know and remember, and it made me want to go farther than just honors chemistry class. I thank her for her opening my, my mind to many possibilities in my passion for chemistry. Ms. Chen. <laughs> Mr. Ian Connolly by Janelle Robinson. He spent almost half a year trying to make conversation and jokes with me until I finally gave in and let myself be more open. When I felt the ability to be myself in that class, I started having so much more fun and I loved knowing that there was a teacher that I could confide in and that would understand me. Mr. Connolly, congratulations. <laughs> Mr. Timothy Kaprinsky, Giovanna Lopes Mendez, Jay Miranda and Abigail Jean. His class really built me as a person. I was more in touch with art and my emotions. I was not scared to write my heart out and any chance I got, I write to express myself. Also, Mr. Kaprinsky often talked about how no matter where you come from, it's possible to do the same thing that anyone else can. I developed into the person I am by his help creating more knowledge for myself and seeing life in different points of view. And finally, the way he grew my creativity and mine made me fall back in love with writing. We were all diamonds in the rough, and he pushed us to allow us to shine. Mr. Kaprinsky, congratulations. <laughs> Mr. Emmanuel DeBarros by Michael Rendeo. The way he grew my creativity and mine made me fall back in love with writing. We were all diamonds in the rough, and he pushed us to allow us to shine. Mr. DeBarros. <laughs> Jennifer Erickson by Amy Miat. To Mrs. Erickson, I owe a respectful amount of credit for all I have accomplished. She inspired my love of reading that has since assisted me in many ways. I have achieved great accomplishments in my academics and I have contributed kindly to my community. My love for reading has kept me standing through many struggles, and for that, I am grateful. Ms. Erickson, congratulations. <laughs> Julie Fairfield by Annalise Marrero. She is such an inspiring teacher, always optimistic about the world around her. 
Some characteristics that I would say she has is that she is kind-hearted, accepting, helpful, and makes opportunities for others. She does very much to support others. She has taught me about life as well as making me look at the world not as half empty, but as full, half full. Ms. Fairfield, congratulations. <laughs> Angela Gerodier by Mahia Phipps. Every day at practice, she would run with me and make sure I was completely confident. She always made sure I had someone to rely on and sought assistance when in need. I gravely appreciate all she has done for me. Ms. G, all right. <laughs> Congratulations. Colleen, Colleen Glidden. Ms. Cheryl Nawazi, a woman with strong wills and values, she fights to defend and shows care when it's needed. She is open and is always there for us to inform us and lead us. She is so supportive and is almost like a friend. Talking to her always felt safe. She was that kind of once-in-a-lifetime teacher. Ms. Glidden, congratulations. <laughs> Anna Gonzalez by Ariana Torres. Senorita Gonzalez was one of the most kind-hearted people you could ever come across in your lifetime. She's the type of person to be there at any given moment when you need her. She taught me to be brave, strong-minded, and courageous, just like her. Ms. Gonzalez, congratulations. <laughs> Gregory Hazelwood by Dijana Daziana Gomez, Gomes. He helped me become comfortable speaking around people because this class consisted of a lot of presentations and group work. He took it slow until everybody was comfortable. The amount of group work and group presentations that we had helped me build my communicative skills and leadership skills that I wouldn't have if it not for his course. Mr. Hazelwood, congratulations. <laughs> Evelyn Lamore from Jason Rivera. She motivated me to change the way I treat people and the way I react to my environment. She inspired me to become a better person, to pursue a career and not to be like everybody else. I have been lucky enough to see her around and she says she is so proud of me and that she knew I could do it. Ms. Lamore, congratulations. Benjamin Lawrence by Sam Lazat. I think a lot of the reason why Mr. Lawrence was so great was because he reminded me of my dad. I still think about how not only did he so positively impact my view of academics, but he also boosted my character development as well. Mr. Lawrence. <laughs> Ren Lee by Joelle Nanu and Aiden Miranda. Mrs. Lee isn't just a good teacher, she is a good person. And she cares for all the, her, the, and the, cares for the well-being of others like no one else. Her kindness spreads like a virus and it's so infectious. She's a walking sun full of great energy. I want to be kind like her. Not only was she a nice teacher that anyone could bond with, but also one who believed in you. She would never let you think you could do bad in the class, and she would push you to do better. Ms. Lee is the one teacher who makes you want to learn and motivates you as a student. Ms. Lee, congratulations. <laughs> Jennifer Loftus from Victoria Soons, Soones. Not only was she a nice teacher that anyone could bond with, but also one who believed in you. She would never let you think you could do bad in the class, and she would push you to do better. Ms. Lee is the one teacher who makes you want to learn, and it motivates you as a student. Ms. Loftus. <laughs> Rolando Lopes by Brasilia Santos. He was very encouraging and guided me in the direction to stay strong and not give up. He helped me develop a strong sense of scholarship because he taught me how to relax and stay determined to learn. He also showed me what a good leader 
looks like. Mr. Lewis, congratulations, sir. Congratulations. And we have Ms. Mahoney by Ludney Bellevue. During my junior year, I was more willing to participate in more activities and extracurriculars instead of closing myself inside my home. Because of Ms. Mahoney, I've came across many great opportunities that I would have never accepted in previous years. To this day, I'm still grateful to Ms. Mahoney and her class. Ms. Mahoney. <laughs> Stephen Matos by Joie Favors. Anytime I show doubt, discouragement, or express my frustration with something, he would prove what I could do it well and encourage me to believe in myself and my capabilities. He also pushed me to go beyond because he knew that I was even better than my best. Mr. Matos. <laughs> Stephanie McDonald from Kylie Brown. Even beyond my third grade year, Ms. McDonald was more than just a teacher to me. She has been included and has taken the time to be present at important milestones in my life. She is a supportive, inspirational role model who changed my perspective on so many things and truly changed my life. Ms. McDonald, congratulations. <laughs> Candace McGann from Francesca Odney. I cannot thank her enough for the impact that she has made on my life. She did not have to care about the way she did, but she chose to because she cared about her students and wanted the best for them. She has taught me lessons far beyond life that can not only help me improve my future self, but also in the career path that I have chosen. Ms. McGann, congratulations. <laughs> Deborah Mello from Aiden De La Golio. Debbie Mello is a clear-cut image of a teacher that cares far more than teaching, <laughs> teaching requires, the, which requires the curriculum. She wants her students to have a great life after school and wants them to be amazing people on top of it. Debbie Mello is the best teacher a student could ask for, and having her as a teacher has shaped my life in ways that I am so very grateful for. Ms. Mello, congratulations. Anne Merritt by Tashnia Abedin. Her personality inspired me to be who I am today. I want to be the person people feel comfortable with asking for help. Just like how she is someone that I know will always be happy to help. Everyone deserves a Ms. Merritt in their life, and I'll be forever grateful that I had her as my 11th grade cybersecurity teacher, Ms. Merritt. Janelle Morose Gondre from Jayla Andrade and Gosa Imafidon and Taima Kane. Teachers either make or break your experience in school. And I can definitely say with full confidence that Ms. Morose has made my experience better than I could have ever hoped for coming into high school. Ms. Morose Gondre is one of those people that will do everything in her power to help you with whatever you are going through by holding us accountable for our actions, she taught us how to be independent and be the person she believed we were, a leader. And finally, now that I am a junior, I still visit her every day because of how much I enjoyed having her in class. She has been one of the only teachers that I genuinely enjoyed having because I felt her dedication for all her students to succeed. Ms. Rose Gondry, congratulations, well done. Paul Nesrallah from Sophia Wera. Mr. Nesrallah gave me what I needed, support, encouragement, and a teacher I could lean on. I will never truly be able to thank him for how much his support guided me in the right direction. With the materials he has given me, I have been able to grow my academic success, and I really do believe that his contributions will forever be a part of me and my academic career. Mr. Nesrala, congratulations. <laughs> Ms. J by Sylvie Stacco. Ms. J helped me, held me accountable 
and forced me to speak out on topics I believe in. She never would settle on less than perfect, which helped me, helped me reach for even more than I thought possible. In her program, hearing her journey and with her mentorship help, helped me reach another level mentally. Ms. J. Cassandra Rateau by Alicia Sherdeville. She would always look me in the eye and tell me that success takes practice and precision. She told me to never worry about what other people had to say about me and to never stop focusing on myself. So those words of encouragement that were given to me made me feel a lot better about myself. Ms. Rateau. Pedro Reyes by Ashley Lopez. Dr. Reyes has gone above and beyond to fulfill his job as a teacher. His dedication and genuine care for each one of us, of one of his students, has positively impacted my academic life for the long run. I believe every student should have a teacher like Dr. Reyes who is capable of bringing out the best in their students and helping them believe in themselves. Dr. Reyes, congratulations, sir. Ashley. <laughs> Samantha Reynolds by Ryan Sinelli. She would always keep me engaged in class and help me improve my writing quite a bit. I believe that everything she taught me could help others as well because of how well I did that year. I was able to apply things I learned into sophomore year too and basically establish my writing style for essays. Ms. Reynolds. Mark Richardson from Imani Bell and Elizabeth Scott. He became someone I could go to if I had a problem with school, family, or life in general. He most likely does not know what showing up to my game that day meant to me, along with everything else he does to support me. But I will, I will forever be grateful for him. He's a great person, educator, trustworthy, encouraging, with a great and distinct personality. If there is anyone I know that can motivate me to achieve and strive for anything, especially the difficult things, it is Mr. Richardson, my inspirational teacher, my teacher that always says, go get him, Lizzie. Mr. Richardson, congratulations. <laughs> Deirdre Smith by Montserrat Diaz. Whatever path I would decide, she assured me of the details, consequences, and suggestions to consider. We would laugh in some instances because she would understand me more than I did myself. She has been a true mentor in my life, and I am sure this impact will continue with others after me. Ms. Smith. <laughs> Nancy Tucker by Kesman Alves. Alves. Nancy Tucker, AKA Auntie or Tuck Tuck, has been the light of my day, <coughs> excuse me, and the person who has helped me get through my high school years. She has shown that nothing is more important than the respect you show people and how you treat others. I credit all my academic and leadership roles and accomplishments to her, Ms. Tucker. Sierra Vargas from Ruby Watt. She has made herself vulnerable to us so that we understand even though it may not be easy or if there are bumps in the road, we still need to persevere and continue working until we reach our goals. I look up to her resilience and her want to continue to grow and become better. I hope to be as hardworking and dedicated as Ms. Vargas. I will always be grateful for the impact that she has on me and my life. Ms. Vargas. Alyssa Watt by Zyra St. John. She is a teacher who is truly passionate about what they do. They make it, make it so much easier for students and themselves. She gave us a warm welcome and made us feel wanted in the classroom. From there on, it, it became my favorite class. Ms. Watt. <laughs> Taja Wood from Yanis Viega. She was also open to us to ask questions, 
learn new things, and always strive for excellence. Not only that, but she is one of the nicest, most down-to-earth people I have ever met. Her soul lights up the classroom like a light bulb, and it's heartwarming to see. Ms. Wood, congratulations. Can we get another rousing set of applause for our inspirational teachers? All right, congratulations to all inspirational teachers. And would the inductees please take their seats on stage? All right, we will now begin the candle lighting ceremony. At this time, we invite Mr. McCaskill to light the candle of knowledge. The oldest tradition in the National Honor Society's induction ceremony is the candle lighting service. The candle that was just lit by Mr. McCaskill, Brockton High School's principal, represents eternal light of knowledge. Traditionally, a teacher lights this candle to symbolize the transference of knowledge from teacher to student or adult to child. The officers will now light the remaining four candles, which represent the four pillars of the National Honor Society. Lexi Johnson will light the candle of leadership. <clears throat> One pillar, sorry. <clears throat> One pillar of the National Honor Society is leadership. Leadership is a privilege that is earned when one exhibits re reliability and dedication. Leadership focuses the work from the other pillars and guides them in their endeavor to enhance our school and community. It also requires initiative in class and school activities, as well as the self-confidence to go forward when others hesitate. The value of leadership lies in its ability to pass on to others the benefits of scholarship and character that is to teach by example. A leader is not driven by personal fulfillment. Instead, a leader strives to direct his or her talents along with the talent of others for the betterment of society. Anaya Hill would light the candle of service. The second pillar of the National Honor Society is service. In the National Honor Society, service can be described as helping our school and our community. 
The willingness to perform such work for the benefit of those in need is a quality that we seek in our membership. Community service is the humanitarian aspect of this organization that inspires members to do their part in creating a better today and an even better tomorrow. National Honor Society members are committed to the idea of volunteering because they have come to realize that the sheer act of sacrificing one's time to aid another benefits the giver as well as the recipient. Elizabeth Aku will now light the candle of scholarship. The third pillar of National Honor Society is scholarship. Scholarship is the ultimate symbol of knowledge. As knowledge can be acquired through the patience and true effort, scholarships and students represent their commitment to learning. Honor Society members have proven that they are willing to spend hours reading and studying because they know the long-lasting benefits of a cultivating mind. Because scholarship is the key that unlocks the door to a fulfilling future, candidates continually have the ability to expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship, which is why we uphold it as a pillar. Now we'll have Matt Rasher light the candle of character. The fourth pillar of the National Honor Society is character. Character is what distinguishes us from one another. Without character, one cannot respect oneself nor hope to gain respect of others. It is the one element in our lives which we have complete control over. Thus, it is the source from which our self-respect evolves. It is the product of constant action as one strives daily to make the right choices. Character is a permanent force that guides us through life and defines the extent of our honor. Success, status, and even joy are often temporary, but one's character will always prevail. Okay, I will now put out the candles. <clears throat> And now it's time for the awarding of, cer of certificates and pins, which is exciting. Okay. At Brockton High School, membership into the National Honor Society has included the awarding of a pin at the induction ceremony, a certificate of membership, the act of signing the register, and an honor stole that is worn at graduation. The certificate reads, Certificate of Membership, National Honor Society. This certificate certifies that you, the newly selected members of the National Honor Society, were chosen as members of the Brocktonian chapter of the National Honor Society. Membership is based on scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Given at Brockton High School this 22nd day of January of 2024, it has been signed by the Executive Director of the NASSP, Timothy Dyer, our advisor, Ms. Fox and Ms. Tiller, and the principal of Brockton High School, Ms. McCaskill. Each certificate is embossed with the golden NHS seal of eternal flame of knowledge and the initial four pillars of the National Honor Society. After the deans have awarded their frame certificates, each new member will receive their pin from Ms. Morgan and Ms. Umbriana, and then sign the National Honor Society Register, administered by the Faculty Council. Beginning with the greenhouse, Demonica Bray will read the names of the inductees. Ms. Susan England will award the NHS certificates and pins.
Will the members of the greenhouse please stand and come forward when your name is read? Kindly hold your applause until all presentations have been made. Kesslyn, I mean Kesslyn Alves. Michael Daniel Brenda. <laughs> Kylie Brown. <laughs> Tyler Krismer. <laughs> Imani Johnson. Jennifer Kwan. Giovanna Lopez Mendez. Victoria Soon. Sylvie Stato. Ariana Anzelis Torres. <laughs> Yanis Vega. <laughs> Congratulations, Greenhouse members. And now Catherine Moyes leads the House, the house members. Will the members of the Red House please stand and come forward when your name is read. Please hold your applause until all the presentations have been made. Jaziel Barros. <laughs> Alicia Shaduva. Joy Favors <laughs> Daisyana Gomes Priscilla Gomes. Agosa Imafidan. Abigail Jean. I.J. Fitz. <laughs> Jason Rivera. <laughs> Zaira St. Jean. Congratulations to all the Red House members. And now, Marinus Montana. Now, Marinus Montana. 
Kahano will read the names of the Azure House. Will the, will the members of the Azure House please stand and come forward when your name is read. Kindly hold your applause until all the presentations have been made. Toshnia Abedin. Jayla A. Andre. Ludney Bellevue. Montserrat Diaz. Amy Mayette. Cheryl Noeze. Nathan O'Carry. Janelle Robinson. Ruby Watt. Sophia Wera. Congratulations, Azure House members. And now, Nicole Yabar will read the names of the Yellow House as, okay, just that. <laughs> Welcome, Nicole. Congratulations, Yellow House members. Lexi will now lead, oh, sorry, that was my fault. Read the wrong line. Will the members of the Yellow House please stand and come forward when your name is read. Kindly hold your applause until all the presentations have been made. Amani Bell. <laughs> Ryan Sinelli. Fatumata Dansoko. <laughs> Heralise Figueroa Kyries. <laughs> Sam Lizzo. <laughs> Ashley Lopez. Belen Mejia. Aiden Miranda. Jade Miranda. Francesca Awardney. Priscilla Santos. <laughs> Elizabeth Scott. And Hasiel Suchite. <laughs> Congratulations, Yellow House members. Lexi will now leave. Lexi will now lead the inductees and current members in the Brocktonian Chapter National Honor Society Pledge.
We're gonna wait till they sit down. Okay, um, will all our members please rise? Okay. And raise your right hands. Repeat each line of the pledge after I recite it. I pledge myself to exemplify, I pledge myself to exemplify the high standards of the National Honor Society. Through my actions and my thoughts, I strive to make myself, my family, my community, and Brockton High School proud. As a member, I understand the capacity for which I am endowed to heed the call for helping others in the community. Even when no recognition is forthcoming, to be an example and an inspiration for my fellow students, and to uphold the ethical principles of honesty and integrity, I am and will continue to be, continue to be, yes. True to, the four True to the four principles for which this organization stands, thus I do pledge myself to the National Honor Society. In its call for scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Will the members please be seated? And at this point, I would like to turn the ceremony over to our principal, Ms. McCaffrey. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. At this time, I truly like to thank the two advisors, Mr. Sillis and Ms. Fox. Good round of applause, please. Well done. Job well done. Dr. Cobbs, our superintendent, thank you, Dr. Cobbs, for your support, as well as our school committee members over here. Right. Oh, we can do a little bit better than that. Oh, we can do a little bit better than that. <laughs> to our illustrious administrators, Ms. Umbriana and Ms. Morgan, could you please rise? Give them a round of applause for all the work that they do every single day. Thank you. At this time, I'd like for our teachers, could you please rise? Our inspirational teachers. Massive round of applause. Job well done, folks. Job well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, the stars of the show, if you may rise, please. Please. Because this, give it up. Give it up. Oh. And, and don't they look fantastic tonight? 
makes me want to makes me want to have a dress a true dress code. <laughs> but on behalf of the Brockton High School school community, I'd like to thank all of you. A round of applause for our families and friends who are coming out this evening. And Color Guard, I did not forget you for our Color Guard this evening. Thank you. Students, you are truly, just like your pledge indicated, you exemplify what is good and great about Brockton High School. Continue to strive for excellence in everything that you do. Folks, thank you for coming out this evening. God bless you all. Thank you, thank you, and of course, thank you. God bless you, folks. All right, folks. You guys look, oh, wait a minute, Mr. Casper, I get a good picture of this. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you know Mr. Casper in pictures, that's right. Oh, color guards got to close us. Mr. McCaskill was remiss because the color guards got to finish their task. Color guard, thank you. My apologies, Dr. Cobb. Thank you, you military man to the heart. Yes, indeed. Folks, here we go. Thank you. And now we, folks, now we are officially closed as a program. Have a great evening, and thanks for supporting Brockton High School students. Thank you. My girl. 